in this session today we will discuss screw thread its terminologies and one of the instrument used to measure the effective diameter of a screw thread what is a screw thread a screw thread is a helical structure cut on a cylindrical cylindrical groove or it is a simply a, a it's a helical structural cut around the first term of a cone a screw thread may be thought as an inclined plane wrapped around a cylindric cylinder or a cone in it screw thread has many different applications let us see a few uh, pictures of screw threads here you can see a few wood screws and generally the the pitch is slightly more than the, maybe uh, the metric threads and it's uh, also see the 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 helix is cut on the frustrum of a cone and this is a pointed end which is used to drive the uh, force the screw into the wood the few other screw thread this is a one, this is a one screw thread over here which comes with a self drill bit at its tip different type of screw thread security way screw threads hex washer screw thread screw thread slotted pan head a flat head etc showing its uh, uh, both the views some other screw threads uh, which are rarely used but it is a uh, uh, importance for its uh, specific applications like a shoulder screw hex head round head flat head socket set socket head a few other screw threads for uh, different materials this is a zinc plated a stainless steel one it's a hot dip galvanized and it's a black oxide with a high carbon a few let's see a few applications of a screw thread here you can see the screw thread being used to hold uh, the work piece here you can see the four screw threads two of them over here to hold this metal piece to this frame here you can see uh, screw threads on a horizontal table is four screw threads holding a uh, holding a, a vertical structure over here it's a screw thread based on an l key a screw thread being used for power transmission and trans transmission of motion as a lead screw the, the lead screw is held with the help of a, a socket of a ball bearing or an anti friction bearing guideways over here generally the lead screws are engaged specifically for for thread applications and making thread in term, in on a lathe machine this is a spindle and a coupling of a for a having an internal screw thread so it's a conveyor which is a form of a screw the conveyor is dedicatedly used for transmitting motions and uh, transmitting elements from one place to another let's see a few terminologies of a screw thread uh, let's uh, take a section of a screw thread and you can see over here the some of the important parts is only over here the major diameter is the maximum diameter or the diameters on the measured at the tips or at the crest the minor diameter is the diameter from the crest to the other side of the crest then there's an effective diameter which is of more importance the tip is generally called as the crest and the tips on the other side is uh, roots the fundamental triangle is a root makes it through a root truncation one of the most important parameters of a screw thread is its pitch diameter is also called as an effective diameter the diameter it's a diameter of an imaginary cylinder the surface which would pass through the threads at such points as to make equal the width of the threads and the width of the space cut by the surface of the cylinder you can see an effective diameter over here the effective diameter is is a, is available on the thread and it is in such a way the distance between the thread that is this distance and the distance between the space between the thread is equal and this is possible to be equal at only one particular place you cannot have this distance equal to this distance but the distance at this place which is equal on the thread and the distance between the space between the thread at only one particular place is called as the effective diameter the effective diameter is a very important parameter and it's taken for all measurements and also determines the quality of the thread today we will discuss screw thread 
thread micrometer, one of the instrument used to measure the effective diameter of the thread. We can see a screw thread micrometer here in this picture. This screw thread micrometer comes with uh, a changeable uh, anvils. It has a V anvil of uh, generally 60 degrees and other anvil over here which has it's, it's a two anvil over here. Let's see the parts of the screw thread micrometer. The parts of the screw thread micrometer, let's see here, it's a conical anvil, it's a V anvil. There is a frame which holds the co which holds this anvil. The barrel, the main scale is on the barrel over here. It will give you the dimensions up to 0 to 25 mm. And uh, there's a there's a thimble or the micrometer scale is over here. There's a knurling to hold. There's, there's a ratchet screw mechanism. The ratchet screw ensure the constant pressure on the screw thread. How to hold the screw thread? How to keep the screw thread? The anvils are the anvil is always placed on this side, the left side, while the conical anvil is always placed on the right side on the spindle. And there are two lock nuts. The one lock nut is to hold the V anvil, the conical anvil, and other and other on the spindle comes the, the V anvil. And uh, the conical anvil has to be set to zero, and therefore to set to zero, this lock nut is used. And this lock nut is used to finally to take the tighten it and to take the readings. This lock nut is used. Now let's get back into the measuring instrument and uh, uh, see how to set the lock nuts. Here we have a screw thread micrometer, and uh, let us, uh, as we have already seen the parts, so we have a, a spindle. There is a barrel with the main scale and there is a thimble with the, which holds a micrometer scale. It's a ratchet for uh, constant pressure applications. There's two lock nuts. One lock nut is for adjusting the zero and once the zero is set, this will be locked. This one will be locked only after the screw thread is placed and the reading is taken. So uh, uh, to begin to learn how to use uh, screw thread micrometer, uh, we will uh, see uh, a few other things. This, this screw thread micrometer is, comes along with uh, 60 degree anvils and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 different pairs of it for different ranges. If you take a, a pair of a V anvil and a conical anvil over here, this is a, one is a conical anvil and the other one is a V anvil. And if you precisely look into this, it's written 60 degrees, so this is dedicatedly for metric thread. And uh, the pitch range, uh, what pitch ranges it can be used is written over here. This one it is written 0.4 to 0.5 range. So if you are able to measure the pitch of the screw thread by using a pitch gauge, then we will be able to select within that range. So the ranges of the different angles have been uh, different animals have been provided over here. So the ma the minimum is 0.4 to 0.5 and let's also see the other one on the maximum side. Here in the maximum side you have a, a 3.5 to 5 mm. So uh, this uh, screw thread micrometer instrument can measure a range of uh, uh, 0.4 up to a maximum of uh, 5 mm uh, ranges of uh, uh, pitches. Up to that pitch it can measure the effective diameter. That once the once uh, the pitch is calculated using a pitch gauge, uh, we can uh, select one among this, and uh, we can uh, uh, fix it on the anvil and measure its effective diameter directly over here with the readings. We have a screw thread over here, whose effective diameter needs to be measured, and then we need to compare it with the theoretical value and find the error. If the error is within the limited value, 2 or 3 percentage error, then it is a good quality thread. So that's the conclusion we need to make over here. Now to first, uh, to, find the, uh, to find the effective diameter, the first thing is to find the pitch and then select one of these animal which comes within that pitch range what we find out. To find the pitch, we will first use a pitch gauge over there. There is a pitch gauge over here, we can use this pitch gauge and we will find the pitch and uh, how to use this pitch gauge you have a pitch gauge is over here which has a different uh, teeth cut on the 
teeth cut on the flank over here and uh, you have different pitches. On one of the sides you have it in inch, inches and the other side that is on a metric scale of uh, uh, millimeter. So uh, we can use uh, one of them, preferably the we will be using only the, the one which is restricted to the metric. So we have both sides one inches and millimeters. So uh, looking into this here to identify which side is uh, for metrics and uh, this side is, you can see it is in inches so we will uh, not take this side and uh, we have this side and there is n number of uh, almost suitable for the maximums uh, for uh, the minimum of 0.5 pitch and uh, maximum value of uh, 6 mm pitches can be uh, measured over here uh, when you have a pitch like this only one among them one among this will sit on this and we are supposed to find out that and that will tell us the pitch so I'll start off with uh, probably looking at this pitch first of all I make a, a random guess uh, that this should be around uh, uh, in between 1.5 to 2.5 mm so I'll, I make a, such a guess first of all by general looking at it then I select one, uh, I'll start off maybe probably start off with 1.75 I'll keep it over here and I see this is not suitable so uh, by trial and error method I keep on trying the next one I'll, is available here is a 2 so here you can see that the 2 is perfectly sitting on this and uh, therefore the pitch of this uh, screw thread is 2m so if you, try the next one also just to see if it sits so 2.5 you can see the 2.5 does not sit on this so it's, it's having a perfect pitch of 2 mm so this is how we can use a pitch kits to first uh, simply identify the pitch of this now we need to find a pair of anvils a V anvil and a conical anvil for uh, range of uh, 2 mm where 2 lies so we have to uh, take one by one and see what's its dimensions I take the first one I see it's 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 uh, the next one here I see uh, it's 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 uh, next one here is uh, so it's a 1.1 uh, to 1.75 mm so 2 it's still 2 doesn't come over here uh, next one I have is a 2 to 3 mm so this is the right one where I can uh, go for this one the pitch we have measured is 2 so this one will suit it's a 2 to 3 mm so let's go ahead and select this pair of anvil which is of a 2 to 3 I'll also confirm that other the, 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 the V anvil the conical anvil also is 2 to 3 yes it's 2 to 3 mm so now it's uh, uh, we have found the right pair and let's see how to fix it on the screw thread micrometer over here let's uh, first fix the screw thread micrometer on a, a, a holder and uh, and then uh, we can uh, more comfortably use it so that we can also keep it on the eye level and fix it to hold the screw thread micrometer we have a, a screw gauge holder over here so I will just loosen this both the sides and I will fix it over here between these two screws I'll tighten this also make sure that this level is also parallel to this level Let's tighten it strongly and also adjust you can adjust it right on the eye level so I'll adjust it to the eye, eye level so that to avoid parallax errors and tighten it now this is tight this is tight and we are ready to fix the animals now now we have selected the pair of the pair of anvils for uh, 2 to 3 mm ranges I have the two pairs of anvil over here this is uh, the V anvil 60 degree V and if you look into this this will perfectly go and sit over here inside now coming on to the fixing side the conical anvil this one will have to sit on this lock nut over here and the V anvil have to go here so the V anvil we the V anvil can freely move inside the screw and be rotated while the conical anvil needs to be fixed so well we'll fix this two anvil we'll loosen the nut on both the sides 
and I'll fix the conical angle first and I will fix I'll loosen this and fix the V and once it's fixed it's time for zero settings or the zero error settings the one of the most important parameter is set the animals for zero readings now we will start tightening it slowly and let this we will loosen this one it's already loose and we will see that this is not crossing zero here the readings are not crossing zero but it's slowly crossing zero you can see that the V annul is pushing the conical annul inside and let it go inside until you have a reading of 0.5 mm now it is crossing 0.5 and now it's ready to take the final final revolutions one revolution is a uh, one revolution of the the ratchet or the thimble will give us a, a lead of 0.5 mm now I will slowly tighten it a bit and not tighten it much but I will tighten it to a small extent now slowly rotate it and when I get almost 5 divisions on the on the micrometer scale I will tighten it slightly more and I can feel the tighten I can feel it strongly and when it almost reaches one deflection on the micrometer I'll completely tighten it and I will now loosen it and check it and you can see here the error is only 0.5 divisions on the on the micrometer scale is the error now if I I'll tighten it completely and I'll just rotate it and check it out once again you can see here the error is perfect zero there's no zero there's no no more zero error so this is uh, the method uh, to uh, get zero error it has to be very carefully set for zero error before setting the screw thread now zero error is set it's perfectly you can see this is perfectly matching to zero now we will go ahead and uh, set the screw thread over here but to set the screw thread we'll first open the open the micrometer to uh, some extent and uh, it's time to place it we will place you can see the distance needs to go some more uh, place it right at the center so that the screw thread is balanced perfectly also see that the screw thread is right in between these so that we have the the, the perfect diameters line coming and when you have a pure ratchet sound it stop now it's time to take the readings so the whole uh, uh, set setup is over now it's time to take the readings you have uh, uh, readings on the main scale is 10 and uh, there's a 0.5 divisions which divides the 1 mm on the main scale itself so the least value on the main scale is 0 0.5 and uh, you have 50 divisions on the micrometer scale so the overall le least count will be 0 0.5 by 50 the screw thread is set in between the conical and the V anvils now it's time to take the readings uh, first we need to keep it at an eye level to avoid or parallax error then you can directly take the readings uh, whichever one is coinciding and this how to take the readings on a micrometer is explained in session 1 by Professor T R Venugopal you can go ahead and refer it we have measured the the effective diameter which is directly read over here for this particular screw thread now we will also calculate the theoretical values by keeping by keeping it by measuring its outside diameter on a on a normal micrometer and then you'll use the formula d minus 0.695 p which is the pitch and find the theoretical effective diameter so i'll just uh, open this nut loosen it open it up slowly take it and place it here such a way as to find the it just sits measure its outside diameter and I can find the, the theoretical values by using the formula effective ETH the effective diameter ETH is equal to 0 0.6 D minus capital D minus 0 0.4 
95 into small t which is the pitch. So by using this uh, simple formula outside diameter minus 0 0.6495 pitch we can find the theoretical diameter. The, the theoretical uh, diameter is compared uh, with the effective diameter and uh, the and it's the difference in uh, difference is measured as error and if the error is of a range of uh, 1 to 2 or 3 percentage it is acceptable or else we can say the gear the screw thread is of not good quality so we have today we have learnt in this session how to use a screw thread micrometer and compare its value with the theoretical and find the quality of the screw thread so with this uh, we have come to the end of screw thread micrometer thank you